But right now we're going to head out to Kalihi. Kenny Choi is at Linda Lingle's headquarters with the chairman of the Hawaii Republican Party. Kenny? Well, Yunji and Paula, as you can imagine, most of the people here, not much of a reaction when most of the major news outlets projected Obama to be reelected as the president. Uh, but we do have the chair of the Hawaii Republican Party, David Chang, here to join us. Hey, Dave, thanks for joining us here tonight. Sure. Uh, your reaction when you heard uh, the projection? A little disappointing. Uh, I think that a lot of us thought that Governor Romney could have taken the election. He hasn't conceded yet, and just looking at the numbers just now, it was still very, very close. So there is that hope that he can overturn and, and win this. But, but at this point, right now, is the local races here in Hawaii. We haven't seen any of the, uh, uh, the uh, results yet, and, and we're, we're thinking that we're going to do very well tonight here in Hawaii. It certainly seems like the electoral votes are in Obama's favor, but the popular vote, very close. Let's talk about the Lingle campaign and her chances here tonight. Uh, what's, what's the, I guess, the, uh, the, the feeling, the environment, and the, the Sure, uh, definitely a lot of momentum. I know that some news outlets have already called this race without seeing any of the ballots, and I, and I think that's a little absurd. I think right now we have a lot of people here. Uh, we're getting today. We are phone banking, canvassing, and a lot of great responses. A lot of people say that they were going to vote for Lingo and even Congressman DeJou. So uh, right now we're very upbeat, and even though the national it didn't work out as we liked, for here in the state we're very positive on, on what's going to happen. The CivilBeat.com poll had Lingo trailing by six. 16%. The Star Advertiser poll had Lingle trailing by more than that 22%. Do you think she'll be able to overcome those numbers? Right. Because I think those those uh, uh, polls were, were not done correctly in the sense where when you oversample a certain demographic, of course, you're going to have people saying that her is going to win it. But if you look at actually how people in Hawaii vote, and when you poll them, it's a very, very close election. All right, David, thank you so much for your thank time. You we'll be uh, joining you. We'll, you'll rejoin us a little bit later in the show. Let's send it back to you guys at the desk. All right. Thank you so much, Ken.